peace, love, gratitude. Took some time to give gratitude to the space. And gratitude for simply being. Gratitude for, you know, just all the simple things that sort of go over our heads easily, right? Or go over the mind's head, right? Because the mind, it's kind of, it's been kind of programmed to be good at games, right? It's, it's, it's been good at, it's good at playing with you, right? It's good at making you think that, okay, if, if I didn't make this, if not, if not, if everyone didn't make this certain thing to be like such a big deal, whatever it may be, the list is endless, right? Then like, so basically my point is, I'm just like here floating, honestly, but basically my point is, the mind's really good at making things a big deal, right? Blowing things out of proportion, right? Making things way more than they actually are, right? Cause like us even being here right now to be able, like, able to like hear this or even speak it, right? It's a, it's, it's a blessing, right? It's our birthright. It's, it's what we've always done and always will be doing we're infinity so once we kind of like reestablish that in the mind right okay mind me and you are good now we we don't have to you know blow everything in proportion right out of proportion right we don't have to you know worry and stress every time the next thing comes up for ourselves right we don't even have to worry about what that next thing is gonna be, right? Because things kind of happen in a flux, right? Everything's kind of like a ripple of, you know, the last thing, right? Even this will be a ripple of the last thing. When I close this video, I'm gonna ripple on to whatever the next thing may be, right? I'm kind of just flowing with the energy, just as we always are doing, right? But now we can choose to either just flow with the energy or kind of cut ourselves off from that. Or never mind, we can't even cut ourselves off from that, right? We can just kind of, we can cut, we can add resistance from flowing with the energy. Because as a matter of fact, the energy is always going to flow. That's what it does, right? It's always flowing and changing, right? And we can make ourselves, we can either make it hard or we can make it easy on ourselves. Literally. We can flow with it, or we can do the opposite, right? It's really simple. It seems like no-brainers, but in the moment, the mind can really play with you and can really make you think like, okay, nah, this is important. I got to stress about it. I got to worry about it. I got to, you know, analyze every inch of it, right? I got to figure out, okay, how is it going to go, boom, boom, boom. And as soon as it don't go like that, we upset. We think like our whole world about to end, right? we right back in that loop of stressing, back in that loop of worrying. Like, now it's like, that's literally the flux. That's literally the flux it's leading you on to. It doesn't work out the way you wanted it to. It still worked out. Because everything is working out in our favor, right? And we've seen that. Or we wouldn't even be here right now if everything wasn't working out in our favor. Everything works itself out. But as soon as we start thinking it doesn't, right? Or even playing that game that it doesn't, right? Because it's just a game that the mind plays. As soon as we start playing that game that it doesn't and things don't work out, then we're kind of caught in that flux again, you see? So now what is that going to ripple onto? It's the butterfly effect, right? That's what everything is doing. So it's like, okay, I was stressing and worrying about this one thing. All right. It gave me affirm. It affirmed it to me that, OK, look, you stress and worry about it. Look, here's the reasons why you stress and worry about it. It didn't go out. Your, it didn't play out the way you wanted it to. So instead of letting go and be like, all right, maybe maybe, you know, it's supposed maybe it's going to play out later or maybe it's supposed to play out a different way. And I just can't see it right now because I'm not supposed to see it. I'm just supposed to flow with it. Or maybe this ain't the right thing for me right now. And I'm adding way too much resistance. It's either like instead of seeing that. 
the mind can often just just because of programs it's not a bad thing right we don't we're not here to label things good or bad because as soon as we start labeling things we start adding restrictions right so that's the same thing with the fluxes right we fall in a flux not saying the fluxes are bad good or bad because everything's a flux right so we fall in that flux of okay i was worrying it didn't play out the way i would like it to and now i'm worrying again and i'm worrying about oh what is this gonna lead to if i don't figure it out but we're not supposed to figure anything out because there's nothing to figure it out because everything's playing out the way it should so when we try to wrap our minds around everything which is it's insane right we really will drive ourselves crazy trying to do that and i can attest to that <laughs> me trying to figure out like the whole meaning of life it can drive you crazy so you have to let go and just let god aka everything aka you just let everything flow as it should let everything unravel let yourself be detached or not labeling stuff let yourself simply be because when you simply be, everything happens with ease. Everything flows as it should, right? Right? So kind of just practice it, right? Practice just staying in that neutral point. We're not labeling things. No more labeling things. No more judging things, right? Because see, because everything is neutral at the end of the day. Everything is simply what it is, right? So let it stay as that. And then there's beauty in that, right? Because then in neutrality, you can make it whatever you want to be, good or bad. But we're not labeling no more. Let's not label. Let's focus on what makes us happy. If that's a good label, then let's run with it. But don't label to put yourself in a box, right? Don't label something as difficult. Then you automatically put yourself in the box. Say it's easy. That's more freeing, right? <laughs> it's way more freeing than saying, oh, you're trying something, trying something. Oh, I just can't do this. There you go. Put yourself in a box instead of, all right, let me just keep trying. Let me keep trying. Let me keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. I'm not going to let this thing defeat me because this thing is me. <laughs> I'm going to keep trying. And then the way we built, we built different. The way we built, we always figure things out, especially if we don't stop trying. If we stop trying, we wouldn't have everything we can see now, right? beautiful continue on with the flux because the flux is beautiful the flux is you remain neutral don't label things don't judge yourself don't put yourself in a box catch the mind when it's trying to you know fall in a flux that keeps you limited keeps you unhappy if the flux works for you continue on with it but at the end of the day it's going to do what it do it's going to keep revealing to you that all right whatever it goes bad or good we're not labeling but bad or good because it's the same thing it's the yin in yang it's the it's one at the end of the day right so wherever it takes you to flux you're gonna end up in the same place you it's gonna show you that it's you that at the end of the day this is all meant for you this is all meant to figure out you to find you to realize you to realize you in everything and then it's easy to love everything it's easy so easy and it's so easy to flow and to simply be gratitude that's it gratitude i wanted to make this shorter but hey i'm just flowing with it i'm not gonna stress about things like that I'm just gonna you know just keep flowing with it and that's beautiful and I'm, i give gratitude to that it's so beautiful how things are, unrav are unraveling always especially when you allow yourself to step back from the boxes that we were, we were led to be put in right I'll say that and I'll leave it at that. I love you. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. <laughs>